And welcome everybody to the Johnny Pickleball Show. Uh, this is one of my favorite pickleball shows out there. We are live here from East Naples Community Park, which is also one of my favorite places to play. And guys, guess what? I'm not alone. I have a couple other people here with me. Why don't we go ahead and introduce yourselves there to my right. Well, hello there. Um, my name is Cornel. I'm actually one of the teaching pros here at your favorite location of course. So I'm happy to be here, happy to be playing in this experience. Yes. Hello everyone, my name is Stefan Jolicoeur. I'm actually from the East Coast. Over there I'm a teaching pro over at uh, Plantation Central Park. And I also teach a couple of places in the area. And I'm really looking forward to it. It's my first time participating in this show. And definitely looking forward to it. And also especially with my nice partner here. Yeah. Courtney. <laughs> so we're looking to cause some damage up in here today. Oh yeah. So looking forward to it. We're, We're going to be bringing, bringing you live commentary, commentary of these matches here. Uh, as you guys know, my commentary consists of, that was a great shot, nice uh, nice dink, and oh, that was a smash. And so I rely on my partners here to do a lot of the technical side of it. Because, We're going in the you know, middle. You don't hear too much. Oh, nice lob. <laughs> right. Unless it's against me because I'm a little smaller than my uh, opponents today. So let's go through the players out there on the courts here. <laughs> I know this Christy Ooh. very well. Uh, she's local and he is from very close to the farm. Yes, from the East Coast as well. So, really happy to be doing this over here today. On the far side, we have our very own Mr. Pickleball, is what I call him, but the world knows him as Johnny Pickleball. And his partner that he is actually playing in Nationals with, uh, Dominique Levin, who is another local. I like their matching red head shirts as well. Very nice. Yeah, they're a bunch of show-offs. Yeah. <laughs> you know? At least we didn't get the memo, you yeah. know? No. no one told us anything. Uh. No, we didn't get the memo. And I work with them. What's that? Yeah. You know? <laughs> Trying to get an advantage already, but they won't get any, Courtney. Yeah, no way. <laughs> Looks like the score is 3-4-1. Oh, great job. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> great job. I stole one of your uh, your sayings up there, Eddie. Great yeah, job. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll like try it. to leave those to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can have them. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Christy. Oh, yeah. Shot great Brandon. shot, Brandon. They teach you guys that on the East Coast, don't they? I think it's a little... He's the one that takes, does it for everybody. He definitely <laughs> does it a lot and... <laughs> Brandon's one of the most fancy players I've ever watched. Definitely. But it works. You know, if I he try to be fancy, it, works, it doesn't work. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be fancy and it just does not work for me. So. He has the left also. That helps. So. Yeah. Being what? Six foot three? I'm not sure. Maybe two say? or three. Maybe three yeah. or four even. Maybe even. Yeah. So we'll go six foot three since we agreed on that one. All but right. uh, yeah, that helps. <laughs> Shot. Oh, I'm surprised Johnny let that bounce. Usually he just stays in there and clobbers that one. But it is game one, so maybe he's saving that for us. <laughs> Sky scores right. five four two. And I just found out, Courtney, that your mic wasn't on when you did your wonderful introduction. So can oh, you no. yourself again? Oh, no. I thought I heard myself, but I guess not. Oh, that's, 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 that's on me. That's on Eddie. <laughs> I screwed up. I'm still new. <laughs> but uh, my name is Courtney Miles, and I teach here at the wonderful East Naples Community Park, as well as Veterans Park uh, down here in Naples. Oh my gosh, great shots. Oh, oh wow. Defense. Wow. Oh, that was a great shot. No oh, I want to clap. <laughs> nice shot, Brandon. So uh, I am very happy to be here. Uh, I was saying that I'm excited to be playing with this guy here, uh, who you all know now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the fact that we got canceled last time, so. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> so at least we're able to make it up and actually make it happen. Yes. I, man, yes. I, there we go. I got to tell you, I was worried today because the weather was not good earlier. No. And, you know, I, I, I knew that around five we'd be good. But, you know, there's like an hour and a half worth of setup that got condensed down to like 40 minutes. And it just... Well, we're, we made it, though. I'm happy. Florida weather did, did a great well. job. Yes. Welcome to Florida. Yeah. Summer's in Florida. <laughs> That's what I always say. Just yeah. welcome to Florida. That's all I got. I was born and raised in this stuff, so <laughs> I know how it is. Oh, great shot, Dom. No. Oh, One nice thing about Dominique is she is fast. She is so quick, and so is her partner. You won't see too many winners. Nice job. Ooh, Ooh, good eye, Christy. Wow. Just I would have hit that. <laughs> <laughs> I would have hit that. Good eye. <laughs> it is a great night. We've even got some of the courts at East Naples being used by some players. Um, I'm sure when they get tired, they'll come over and watch. Maybe they're just waiting for us to play stuff on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But what's nice is we do have about 58 quarts here, if I'm not mistaken. You guys already so have that many, huh? Mm -hmm. That many. And Man, it's going actually, before the U.S. Open, uh, we are going to have 10 more. That's what the right now is telling me. Right yes. Here. The Man. county loves pickleball down here in Naples. And they know what uh, we bring to the table. Yeah. And so the... County commissioners approved um, a master plan for this park, so can't wait to see it happen, and I get to witness it working here, so we'll have to have you over more often. Definitely, and they're really forti fortifying the fact that here is the capital of Pickleball, huh? Right. Absolutely. Making sure that they, they keep the crown. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We cannot, we can't lose the crown. No way. Got to keep it. Yeah. Oh, good <laughs> wow. Ooh. Here you go, Brenda. Great hands. Great shot, Dominique. She's got so much power. And it all comes from her legs. I swear, all of that power just comes straight from her legs. Nice serve, Johnny. Oh, good return. I have to cheer for Johnny since I work with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rule, huh? It's the rule. We support each other. Well, once you step on the court, that's all over, right? That's right. There you go. Exactly. Right, once he's good, my yeah. opponent, that's all. That's it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> he's just another guy that I gotta beat. Uh, good <laughs> here. Oh, there great shot! Yep. Well done. Set that play up well. Great match. All right, we got a quick match here. All right, so I think we gotta what reset. That's my goal. All right, so the goal. score was 11-5 for Johnny Pickleball and Dominic. Well played. Now it's our turn. All right, partner, let's go see what's going on. Oh, yeah. You ready for us, Johnny? No. No? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he needs a break. He's <laughs> a good woman. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Ouch. Okay. Here we come. Be right. ready. That's right. Thanks, guys. guys. We'll be back later. <laughs> Thank right. We'll, we'll talk you. a little bit. All see right, you soon. Eddie. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So we're doing a little switch over of, uh, of players here. So you're going to see a whole new lineup out there. But before we do that, I want to talk about some, uh, some pretty incredible companies that are involved in pickleball here. Let's start with the Pickleball Academy of Southwest Florida. They have lessons, clinics, camps, and more. Pickleball for All, a nonprofit dedicated to bringing pickleball to students, veterans, and wheelchair athletes. We have the Pickleball Pro Shop of Collier County, all things pickleball, locations at East Naples and Veterans Park, and Southern Tropic Tournaments, annual pickleball tournaments at East Naples Community Park. Let's go back to the action here. Looks like we're going to be starting this game very shortly, and uh, I'm wondering if uh, maybe the players that just got done there, Brandon and Christy, want to, uh, want to join us. What do you say? All right. Looks like Brandon's going to be sitting down here in a minute to do some commentary. Jump on in here, guys. Why don't we do a quick in introduction here to my right. Brandon, uh, right? Yep. My name's Brandon. I've been playing for about three years now. Um, sponsored by Selkirk. I'm glad to be a part of this. I feel like this is the in thing right now to be on the Eddie and Webby show. Oh, man. 
I've seen more people be on it than actually being played. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> A cool world. This is, a, this is a lot of fun. Glad you can do a little commentary with us here tonight. Thanks for having us. Yeah. And then, uh, Christy, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Christy Bradley. I'm from Sanibel, and I'm a paddle tech player. Um, and I'm also uh, at, teach at the Sanctuary Golf Club, tennis and pickleball. But pickleball is the thing to do right now. All right. Super excited. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys very much for joining. Uh, feel, feel free to take away this commentary and uh, kind of fill everybody in on what's going down. Oh, I, I believe this is Courtney and Stefan's first time playing together, as is mine and Christie's. Okay. Uh, we've played against each other a couple times at this park, actually, uh, but never with each other, so it always takes a little bit of an adjustment. How long typically do you guys find that it takes to kind of get used to each other's styles and figure it out? I would say a couple games. Okay. And usually, I mean, if you're not playing rec with each other, yeah. that, that takes a span of a couple tournaments. Um, it's tough when you're when your partner's not living next to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my uh, my men's partner actually he just moved to Illinois for law school. Okay. So uh, that'll be a little tough, but uh, we've been playing uh, with each other since we first started for about three years. So it definitely uh, helps to be in a group with your yeah, partner. It's yeah. hard to get adjusted every time to different yeah, partner you shots. You can't put a price price on a uh, chemistry. Good hands. Wow. Good read. You know, these are Johnny's home courts now, and so he probably knows that the wind inside this uh, this little wind tunnel here goes from his right to left, and so he probably thought, okay, I believe that one's going to carry out there. Yeah, that's what we actually were warming up on the far side of the court here, and then we, as soon as we switched over when Johnny picked that side, uh, I think our first two shots were right into the net because yeah. we took we took note of the wind, but it, it always takes a couple shots to get used to it. Sure. Well, and Courtney teaches here as well, so yes. she knows yeah. the deal. So it seems like we're the only ones at a disadvantage. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a minute, we'll that's that why card. we were invited. Yes, yes. <laughs> Totally would have made up for those six points there. <laughs> <laughs> what was the turnout of, uh, of your game there? Uh, 11, was it 11-5? I don't know. It was, I think it was close. It was 5-5, five, five, and then they just pulled away. The Johnny started taking over. I mean, he's, he's yeah. a guy, when, when it comes down to it, he can insert himself in the game, and he's a power player. So especially in mix, that really comes in handy. He's super fast. Oh, yeah, he's very quick. But he can also slow the ball down, too. When he's, when he's playing fast, he has, good, he has soft hands mm -hmm. where he can slow that ball and reset it. Have, uh, Courtney and Dominique facing each other right now, so this ball is probably going to stay on this side of the court, <laughs> and she tried to do a little too much. It seems like the players here are stacking. Yes, they are. Both sides, huh? Yeah. I'm sure that most people watching this um, are, you know, probably pretty familiar with pickleball, but mm -hmm. what uh, you guys want to talk about the advantages of stacking, why a team would actually do that? Well, I say stacking happens very frequently in the mixed doubles so that the guy's forehand is more in the middle to take over. It's a little bit easier for the reach to reach in or if he's going to poach, to poach with the forehand. But it's happening a lot in the women's doubles and men's mm -hmm. doubles as well. It's Even if it's the, the partners are equal, it's good mm -hmm. to give a different look all the time. Yeah. You don't want them to get so used to the same thing. Yeah. And for those of you guys don't know, stacking is basically where... Uh, in, in pickleball, you only have to serve from one side of the court, and you only have to receive from one side of the court. And you, you know, it's it's you have to be the specific person that's assigned to that. After that, you can stand anywhere you want on the court, basically. And so stacking allows you to be able to play the majority of the game in what you feel would be like your advantageous position. So in mixed doubles, if the uh, if the man you know is the power hitter putting them in the forehand might give, you know, set your team up for a little bit more success. But that's not always the case. No, and I actually use stacking. I stack a lot um, when I play with my partners, but I actually use stacking as a method to, uh, as a kind of a free timeout. Um, I mean, timeouts are used also for, for breaks as well as they are uh, momentum stoppers and momentum killers. 
So um, if you're stuck on if you're stuck on a point, if you're stuck on four for like seems like eternity, like three side outs, I'll just I'll just call a stack, and it just gives a different look, like Christy mentioned, and it just changes things up for some reason. It seems like every single time you just throw in a random stack, if you're in a little rut, it kind of just gets you out of it. Okay. Well, a, lot, a lot of times it makes the other team think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just, just a that, different look. It makes them think. Well, I may I need yep. to do this now. As soon as as soon as you switch and, and they're trying to hit a third shot, just that little inkling of thought in their mind just can can blow up the entire point. My, uh, I'm a right-handed player. Mm -hmm. My U.S. Open partner was left-handed, and so we stacked to keep our, our both our forehands gotcha. in the middle. And that's, that's at the, the three-five level too. Mm -hmm. So it's you know it's, yeah, yeah, any level it's effective. Yeah, you're starting to see it even at the where it used to be just kind of more like probably four or four, five and above. You're starting to see mm -hmm. that at the lower levels, uh, which is pretty exciting too. I'm actually surprised. Oh, Johnny text if I'm there. I'm actually surprised most players don't. If you if you have a solid partner and you you live by them and you play with them a lot, if if you just stacked and stayed on your side of the court and just was so disciplined into learning the ins and outs of every single shot that comes from that side of the court, uh, you might as well do it. And all you have to really think about is that side of the court, and then you become you can dedicate 100 percent of your your drilling and, and practicing on that side, and you just kind of become a little better that way yeah. and obviously you have to be dynamic enough to where if there is a switch or you guys exactly. do have to switch that that you can play the other side but but the higher level i think that's a that's a strategy that we'll start to see okay yeah and drilling that way is yeah. very important yeah. drilling is key we um we had the waters on our podcast uh, mother daughter duo last week and you know we talked about how much time you spend drilling versus mm -hmm. playing and if you guys had to guess your your ratio is it 80 20 playing to drilling 50 50 like what would it be for each of you right now i i don't get the chance to drill as much but if you can do an hour of drilling shoot that's like three hours yeah. of play yeah. and you see so many balls and you can really work out the kinks or new shots it's a, it's yeah. funny i was playing last night and I honestly, I played for about two and a half hours. I don't think I hit one backhand dink the entire time. <laughs> and I thought about that after. I'm like, as soon as I drill, I hit one backhand dink. That's just that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, and I hit one backhand dink. That's more than I hit the entire three hours of playing. And it's just it's just a way to kind of concentrate all those shots into into a focused kind of practice. And uh, going back to the waters, actually, I live I live real close to them. So oh, I, yeah? I have the honor of playing with them um, almost every single time I go out there. Um, so they're awesome, and Annalise, is obviously, she's becoming a household name. Uh, sure. We we were playing with her when uh, she was the big secret, and she'd come out here and destroy all these pros. <laughs> and now that they're they're kind of on to her now, they they know she's gonna bring yeah. it. Okay. Um, but she's she's just gonna be unreal. I can't imagine when she's I'm 26 when she's 12, more than twice my age. She's just I can't imagine when she gets some experience under her. Yeah. And her mom's obviously. She's awesome. Yeah, too. she's great. She she actually um, she's teaching Annalie a lot more now in practice as they're playing together more, and it's just their game. I mean, talking about chemistry and kind of bloodline right there. Oh yeah. So that obviously, <laughs> it's not a lot of things teams can say. Four three one. Scores four three one. They're having a battle. Yeah, yeah. slow moving game here. We don't have a scoreboard up. Uh, what we learned from the Beer City Open is that. We need to have somebody dedicated to running the scoreboard, otherwise yeah. it's never cracked. <laughs> and so we decided today that uh, since we didn't have our, our scoreboard operator come, that we would not show it. So we'll keep, we'll keep telling you the scores we go through, though. Yeah, and speaking of Beer City, and just about every tournament I'm not at, um, I thank you guys for distracting me at work um, <laughs> for a good two to three hours a day. <laughs> Um, it's it's crazy how much the oh that was awesome yeah oh nice guy um, just the the live streaming um, and and obviously the commentating like this has has grown in the past just a year I mean when I first got into it there was nothing like this so you you're at a tournament you're looking on pickleballtournaments.com at brackets and now nowadays you just go to a Facebook page and you can watch just about any match you want yeah um, even in like in the background of the videos I was watching the Veil vale Open today and mm -hmm. um, you could see about three quarts from just the camera view so it's awesome. And then just having a commentary on top of that, you can't beat it, especially for free. Yep. Yeah, Carl Schmitz is doing a great thing with yeah. Pro Pickleball, trying to get Incredible. all the streamers together at these larger tournaments and make sure that we're getting, you know, good quality content out there. And, uh, wow. Some nice dinking going on here. <laughs> good defense. I like to get a, a step counter on Johnny compared to Stefan here. <laughs> 
Stefan's a guy who doesn't move a lot. Um, but, I mean, you try to go at his feet, he'll get it up. And you try to go at his chest, he'll put it right back at your feet. He's a powerful guy. Good shot. And I uh, actually played against Courtney uh, in one of Lucy Kitcher's tournaments last past weekend, this past weekend. Um, Over in Davies, is that yes, right? Yes, and she's actually a fabulous mixed player because um, her dink, she comes from a tennis background, so there's a lot of um, topspin, and that actually goes against everything I was just about to say. Yeah. <laughs> she, she does very well hitting cross-court, and if you watch her dinks, she'll keep those right real close to the net. So it's tough as a guy. Um, to kind of get in there and insert yourself yeah. when she's when she's dinking cross court. She, her dinks have such a good angle on them. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, it's seven four one now. Yep. It's starting to take off. Awfully familiar. <laughs> So do you guys have a favorite tournament? Beer City Beer Open. Beer that City. Was, yeah, it was yeah. the fir first tournament I ever played in last summer. Mm -hmm. Webby and I played together, got our butts kicked. It's kind of what lit the fire underneath <laughs> to like really get into pickleball. Yeah. Uh, and we we you know became really good friends with so many people in that Grand Rapids crew yeah. that the Beer City I think will always have a special place in my heart for sure. Gotcha. Uh, and then this year, you guys. Uh, had the honor of getting beaten by uh, Mr. Yates. Yes, we did. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I watched that on live stream during work as well. Yeah, <laughs> he he, uh, he toyed with us basically. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Good good, good, good opportunity, opportunity yeah. nonetheless. You know, yeah. So, yeah. a lot of fun. But yes, the, the Beer City. I mean, um, everyone has really great things to say yeah. about that tournament. So I'll have to make it to that one next I year. I know it's on my list. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, know Belknap Park is a fantastic facility. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite places to play outdoors. Uh, Looks like an awesome facility. Great, great facility, and I gotta tell you, man, the amount of talent that's in the west side of Michigan, mm -hmm. unbelievable. It's, it's weird. You wouldn't think about it. Um, yeah. I mean, you kind of like have those kind of high school football hotbeds, which are Florida, Texas, yeah. and California, and it kind of it mirrors that with pickleball. Um, but Michigan's kind of that anomaly where there's just so many good players from up there. So many good players. It's uh, it's actually quite incredible. Yeah. Uh, you know the amount of talent and just how supportive that entire community mm -hmm. is, and you know they're. God, it's it's incredible. Yeah, and you wouldn't really expect it too, coming from a, a cold weather state. Yeah, a very cold weather state. Um, just playing. I mean, they don't get to play too many right. months of the year. Obviously, some play indoors year round. Well, the, the cool part about a tournament at Belknap Park is that they have an indoor backup at the Grand Rapids oh, Racquet really? Fitness, which I've actually oh, that's right. I've that's played huge. in. Um, uh, oh, nice. Wow, oh, good point. So th this this uh, Beer City Open this past summer, that was the first time I've ever signed up for a tournament at Belknap Park and actually played there because last summer uh, for the Beer City Open, we had to go indoors. Yeah, I remember watching yep. the live stream from that. And then also I played in a tournament. This would have been back in June when I was up there for a few weeks. And again, moved indoors. So the, the community was joking that I was a curse on them actually. So it's my fault. <laughs> I think that's a great thing, though, that tournament directors are going to start utilizing yeah. if they can. Um, just having that, that indoor back. I mean, we're used to it down here in Florida with your brains right at this time about every single day. Um, and so you have a tournament. You're basically wagering your money um, on, on the forecast. Mm -hmm. And so especially if you're traveling to a tournament, just having the indoor back is just great security. And it's kind of the same thing with Palm Springs for nationals. It's just such a good location because you basically know it's not going to yeah, be in there. Safe. Right. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're safe going there. Um, but I'm playing uh, the, in the Texas Open coming up, and that was one of the big factors. Um, everyone's had great things to say about that. Who played last year, Stefan did. Um, and that indoor backup came into use there as well. And it's just it's just that security blanket that you'll get every single point of play and that you were supposed mm -hmm. to. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I think that's what it comes down to is people really, they just want the opportunity to play. And, yep. you know, nothing worse than traveling somewhere. Exactly, and, and yeah. It's happened here, so. Yep, yep. Great match. Same score nice as our match, game. Yeah. yeah. Very nice match. All right. Five's the point, the, the number to beat. Yeah. That's what you got to be, yeah. Now, this game's going to end 5-5. Five, five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for jumping on. We're, we'll, we'll be sure talking to we'll you again soon. Yeah. Sounds great. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.
And for those of you just joining us, we are live from the Johnny Pickleball Show here in East, ne East Naples Community Park. Very excited to be here. Uh, we just had a live podcast, actually, with Johnny Pickleball. You guys definitely want to check that out as well. And uh, I will, I'm not going to lie, the internet, uh, the internet speeds that I'm getting here right now are not the greatest, so I might be coming in a little bit choppy, doing everything we can to try and get that sped back up for you guys here. But just know that we also will have all the video recorded, and we will uh, we'll also be uploading that as well. So stick with us. And uh, I do want to talk about a few organizations here that are, uh, are really great for the sport of pickleball. Let's first start with the Pickleball Academy of Southwest Florida. They have lessons, clinics, camps, and more. Pickleball for All, nonprofit dedicated to bringing pickleball to students, veterans, and wheelchair athletes. We have the Pickleball Pro Shop of Collier County, all things pickleball. They have locations at East Naples and Veterans Park. And Southern Tropics Tournaments, annual pickleball tournaments at East Naples Community Park. Thank you guys very much for your support of pickleball. And uh, we are going to be joined here by uh, a couple people who just got done playing. And uh, wait for them to get set up here. And Brandon must have sat here last. He did. A microphone's really tall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Obviously, Johnny, what, uh, you know, you were just on the podcast, and now here you are joining the little commentary. Yeah, man, with my mixed doubles partner, Yeah. Dominique Glover. Hello. How are you, Dominique? Great. How are you? Awesome. Good to see you here. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Good to have you, and we're excited for you guys to help us do some commentary. Obviously, this is a Johnny Pickleball show, so we got the one and only Johnny Pickleball with us as well. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, no. Good match up here. Should be interesting. Uh, so you guys won your first two games, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think those Johnny was on a roll. Cool. Oh, man, it, took, it was a slow one. It was a slow <laughs> roll. It took a second to get going after sitting with you for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's okay, though. Yeah, no, it took like five minutes. It's fine. Okay. Um, they woke me up by moving me around <laughs> a lot, which is good. <laughs> All right. So, um, no, Stefan, I haven't played Stefan in a while, man. He's playing pretty good. Quick hands, really fast hands. Um, I think they got a little confused. Uh, playing us in the last match yeah. or uh, on their switching and stuff when they're you know coming to the net so that kind of we focused in on that a little bit and just kept it slow okay i learned real fast not to go fast at him yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> he yeah. drilled me hey he got you yeah he tagged <laughs> you a couple times yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's tough man yeah uh, nice wake up call let's see if i can hear the score a little bit here nice drop by stefan uh, Christy, Christy has those tough rolls with her forehand man that she can pull you really far which i think is what she's going to want so brandon can step in one, two, two. Good return. Yeah. Little ambitious. A <laughs> little ambitious. It happens. It does. We get excited. Go for it. And I said even during the, the podcast, man, that, you know, there are uh, are times that we're going to probably speed it up when we shouldn't. Yeah. It, it makes it fun. You know, it's a good time. So kind of something like that possibly, yeah. but I don't know the ball's going to up there. Can always add a little more top spin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always need the top, man. So, but, you know, I'm really thankful all these players came from mm -hmm. all, you know, and, and the weather's perfect. Yep. I mean, my, my, you know, I don't even mind the noceums anymore. Yeah, right. You know right. what I mean? So, <laughs> I think, this is great. I, I think I mean, they've bit every single part of my leg right now. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's That's crazy. Yeah. So yeah. nice to actually be able to play. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've sat home for a week. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Yeah, it's been raining, kind of weird patterns. So, so have, have, have you guys have you guys played much before, Dominique, you and Johnny? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played in the U.S. Open, made it to the bronze medal match nice. uh, in mixed doubles, man. Yeah. And, uh, we made some good runs, and uh, you know we didn't play much together this past year, but I think we're going to start up again, which is great. Yeah, uh, we will. Uh, we will. Yeah. Indian that, Wells. Yeah, Indian Wells, absolutely. Yeah. You know, luck of the draw, but uh, yeah, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good, and then some other tournaments too. So it's going to be great. Cool. And Dominic, you're, you're local to this area, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, you're at Bonita Bay Club, is that? Used the, to be there. Used to be there, okay. Now I'm at Kalia Bay. Okay. Just 10 minutes down the road in North Naples. Cool. Fun little club. Very nice. Yeah. And Dominique's the newest member of Team Head, man. Yeah. You seen this? We matched. I like it. It I wasn't like it. intentional. You know I got to show you guys the uh, the matching shirts here. Oh, uh, yeah. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Love it. Wasn't planned. Yeah. We're just on the same page. I told her to grow a beard like me. It's not working. Oh. So I, I like, <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there's a questionable uh, line called there. I wonder. 
I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get a read from the fans in the in the crowd here. Do they think that was in or out? No. Nope. I don't know. Yeah, tough to say. You know what's crazy? Though? I just I love the turnout tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. This is amazing, yeah. man. I mean, it, listen, it's it's August 16th in South Florida. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This kind of crowd, I just I haven't seen something like this, man. This is really cool. Yeah, that's really cool to see. And I mean, you're a big part of that, man. I don't know about that. Yeah, you are. It's the giant, I would agree. It's the giant pickleball show. That's why they're Yeah, but you got the Eddie and Webby stickers on the microphones. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know right. I mean? How cool is that? <laughs> you got a t-shirt. <laughs> so who decided who gets the hat forward and who gets it backwards? That's a good question. You know, I typically just wear my hat backwards. Webby, uh -huh. he always he always wears his Detroit cap forward, and so that's just kind of how the logo ended up. And we were, Ooh, I like we it. were talking... Um, should it be Webby and Eddie or Eddie and Webby? And Eddie and Webby sounded like it flowed better, so my name went first, that's all. Yeah. That's kind of how it goes. That's how yeah. I understand. Yeah. 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 I was either going to be Pickleball Johnny or Johnny Pickleball. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Couldn't decide. It's like all good, it. though. But yeah. <sighs> you play a little bit? I do. Um, yeah, I've, I've taken a couple lessons from Johnny. Nice. Um, I'm a I'm a three five player. I'm my on my path to four zero. There you go. Excited about that. And uh, yeah. You know, what's cool about this, man? I was touching on it earlier. Was that even though we have the show going on here and there's a lot of people watching, across the way, there's a ton of people playing, mm -hmm. which is really cool that you, yeah. we just have that benefit here. The, where it's not just one court, you know, we have all these courts here and people can, can watch and then they can go play and then when we're done playing, we're going to go play with them. Yeah. Oh. And it, it's just really cool, man. Really close knit community with that and I, I just, I love being a part of it. Yeah, it is pretty sweet. I, I love playing here. I usually play here on the weekends. Sometimes I'll come up here on a weeknight occasionally, but I love playing up here at East Naples Community Park. Yeah. Oh, good roll. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. He got excited. That. He had that. Yeah. Got excited. So you got to make your U.S. Open appearance next year, huh? Yeah, that would be uh, that'd be nice. I, I, I did, did play, play at the U.S. Open this past actually? year, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely quite the experience, man. I've, that was my third or fourth tournament here at East Naples, and uh, a very different experience, obviously. You know, than the other tournaments I was at. They were a little bit smaller. You know, I mean, smaller in terms of having access to 57 courts or whatever it is, so still a large tournament, but had a great experience. You know, while we're here real quick, man, I, I didn't get to do that in the podcast, but I wanted to do it while I was sitting with you. I want to give a, uh, a shout out to uh, Recharge Wellness Clinic and Dr. Adam Morris, um, who they do a lot of hydration therapy in the summer, Yeah. and he has helped me out immensely, man, just to being stay, staying hydrated, him and his wife, Tessa, uh, really nice people up in Bonita Springs, and... Uh, yeah, you know, I'd just check it out if you're feeling dehydrated, man. Just go s check them out so, or look them up. Recharge Wellness Clinic in Bonita Springs. Um, just the nicest family anyway. Right. You know what I mean? I'll have so, to check them out. That's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. It's pretty, yeah, it's really neat. But, um, yeah, hydration therapy at yeah. its finest, man. No margaritas? Nope. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can request that in the bag or not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up. <laughs> How about a straight tequila in my Yeah, place, I know. Yeah. Just straight tequila. Yeah, skip the margarita mix, please. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. That's right, man. Everybody's got a thing. It's all good. Yeah. You just have to go see him again the next bag, I guess, right? To yeah, right. It's yeah. so just a vicious cycle. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You know, I mean, that's important down here. Obviously, we're in southwest Florida. It gets hot. It does. It gets humid. I, I really sometimes wonder if I can even drink enough water during, you know, hours of pickleball play to keep myself hydrated. And I just feel like sometimes it, it doesn't do the trick. You can't it keep really it up in you. Yeah, there's some tricks to it. Those, um, you know, we, everyone has different things. Liquid IVs, yeah. Pedialyte sticks, uh, Pedialyte in general, uh, Noon tabs, I think is what they're called. Mm. Yep, so that. that's a thing. Um, and everyone has something, but I've seen a lot more of the Pedialyte and Liquid IVs and Noon tabs. Those are kind of the top three I see. So. Okay. Um, it's a good rally here. Great, great point. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. Oh. I think he looked uh, up. I think so. Too. <laughs> I, think, I, think I saw up. the whites of his eyes on that one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I think he just took his eye off it for. Oof. He wants that one back. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good touch. Brandon's pretty fast, mm -hmm. though. 
played Brendan a couple times yeah. in the tournament. Yeah. He is solid. Yeah, he's, he's fast. Better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. Nice shot by Christy. Oh, yeah. Oh, she has that middle yeah. zinger. Yeah, forehand yeah. roll, man. Yeah. It's her shot. Everybody's got some. This is what I mean. But like, it's just so cool to see that like everyone has a different skill set. Everyone has their shot. Right. You know what I mean? Whatever that is. Yep. Um, but you get to find out what that is real quick. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, yeah. know what I mean? That's the cool part. Uh, <laughs> so Courtney likes to drive the ball down the line. Um, you know, and she does a little quick step. She has a tell, though. I don't know if she knows. Really? That, yeah, she Ooh. does. So I figured it exposing out. Exposing the tell. Yeah, yeah, she has a tell. Okay. Uh, I won't expose it. Look, I'm not going to say anything, but she has a tell. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what's so funny, Johnny? You, you go out on the court and, like, you have the, the wherewithal to be able to see that. Where I feel like when I go out on the court, I'm just trying to, like, I'm just trying to get my ball over the net. You know, I'm just trying to have my drop shots reasonably land in the kitchen. Yeah. So. That's yeah. pretty funny. <laughs> like, she's got a towel. I'm like, I would have no idea what's even there for. Yeah. <laughs> You're watching her, man. Yeah. She's trying to watch the ball. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's cool. So Eddie ended up having to play. Eddie and Webby played Kyle up in Michigan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Two on one. Yep. And I told him, don't watch Kyle. Yep. Watch the ball because he's going to do a bunch of no looks and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. And what did he do? Yeah. He watched Kyle. Guess what I did? <laughs> I watch Kyle. It's hard, man. It is. It's hard. So I get it. Cool. I absolutely get it, man. Yeah, he's yeah. a good dude, though. I told him, too, I put these headphones on. Yeah. And I, I said, you know, so this is what Kyle feels like right before he plays Fortnite. <laughs> 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 this is what, like, to see what he feels like, man. So, I love it. Oh, dude, he's, he's mm -hmm. hilarious. So. I played him one time. Did you? Woo! Didn't last long. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's a good match. Yeah. We got busy talking to you. Sorry. No, it's all good, man. That's right. That's what we want to do. Got off five. Yeah. Yeah. They got off five. Yeah. <laughs> what was the score, Brandon? Five. Five. Oh. Six. 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 Ah, okay. All right. All right. Cool. This game's going to be seven, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to go. Go. We'll see you guys here. We'll see you back shortly. And for those of you guys just joining us, we are live. From the John, Johnny Pickleball Show here in East Naples, and uh, very excited to be here. We're going to be bringing you some more action. We're going to be having some uh, guest commentators joining us here in just a moment. But before we do that, I want to be able to give uh, some shout-outs here. Let's talk about some uh, some organizations that do are doing some great things for pickleball. The Pickleball Academy of Southwest Florida. They have lessons, clinics, camps, and more. And Pickleball for All. They're a nonprofit dedicated to bringing pickleball to students, veterans, and wheelchair fair athletes. Excuse me. We have a Pickleball Pro Shop of Collier County, all things pickleball, locations at East Naples and Veterans Park. And Southern Tropics Tournaments, annual pickleball tournaments at East Naples Community Park. And we're going to be going live back into the action here in just a moment. I do know that the uh, the internet connection that we're having is a little choppy right now, so please bear with us. We're doing our best to uh, to keep this coming here, uh, and we're gonna be joined by some guest commentators here in just a moment. So don't go anywhere, guys. And I'm back. So what's going on, and I, Webby? I have a guest with me Eddie, here. Eddie. Eddie. Oh, it's all good. Either, either one works. Okay. Uh, so Stefan, what uh, what was the score of that game? It was 10-6. Uh, 10-6? Ten 10-6 six. Ten six? Six is for Courtney and I. Okay. All right. <laughs> there she is. And Courtney's back, too. What's going on? I'm back. Yeah. Now She's, I can hear her. Now you can hear yourself. Okay. She's there the backbone are. of the team, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's my job. Reset, reset, reset. He's the power. <laughs> That's cool. So, is, is this your first time ever playing together, or did you play with? Yeah, I think yeah. this is the very first time. Yeah. All right. 
And yeah. It's like a blind date. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See if okay. we're compatible. Actually, yeah. not that blind because we know each other. So <laughs> right. It's not like one of those tournaments where you just meet up, meet your partner on the first match. Right. Oh my gosh, I've done one of those. <laughs> where you show up and right before and uh, you meet them. Yeah. I yeah. did that, I think, my first tournament. Too. That's got to be tough. Yep, it's different, but uh, no, this is fun because I, I trust him already. <laughs> oh, wow. I, feel I know. Big step. <laughs> well, that's good. Brandon has such a effortless looking serve. I think everything he does makes it look effortless, right? Yeah, like yeah. I said, you know, he gets uh, style points every time he plays. So, because he's just so fancy, <laughs> like that, <laughs> Exhibit A. Exhibit A. He, I love when he proves my point. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, great shot, uh, Christy. Nice spot. The sun is starting to uh, come down here a little bit. We might need to be... It's peeking through. Yeah, adjusting our tent or doing something here. To <laughs> yeah, so that, <laughs> so that you last a little longer. Oh, yeah, I guess we're pretty bright, huh? Yeah, pretty exposed <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the lighting good. Do we look good at least? Right here. Actually, I'm going to switch to our, our camera angle here so you can see. Like, this sun is beating down on us. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ooh. You know, earlier when we wanted the sun to come out, it didn't. And now that it would be nice to have a little cloud coverage. Of That's course. True. That's Florida for you, right? <laughs> That's Florida for you. Summer's been weird down here, hasn't it? Yes. This weather's been unbelievably weird. Seriously. I mean, I'm so used to, uh, you know, rain in the afternoons right and then the morning's good yep. you play you teach whatever you do in the morning and then the afternoon you rest you relax because it's hot <laughs> yeah i mean that's ultimately uh you know that like usually you can you can rely on the the summer weather it's like oh two o'clock here you go but the thunderstorm comes through and then this summer it's like waking up in the morning it's weird sorry yeah, that was a nice shot by christy that was a Good great shot. spot to put that it's the thing tough. that I hate the most is when it rains for 10 minutes hard enough to wet the court, yep. to run it, and yep. then stop, and even sunny, and there goes your lessons and everything. Yeah. Today. Ooh. Nice, Brandon. Oh, shot. <laughs> Great shot, B. Getting fancy. Oh, yeah. I think uh, his girlfriend, Taylor Ness, would be very proud of that shot. Yeah. She got to play with him this past weekend, and they kicked my butt. They played great. Nice. Definitely, oh, Taylor was a superstar for sure that whole tournament. <sighs> she played great. Too bad they didn't get to. Again, we were just talking about the, the weather. They were they couldn't <laughs> play the final yeah. because of the Tied weather. Tied back in. So. Yep. Yeah, it actually started uh, raining during my uh, bronze medal match. I was playing Lucy Kitcher and Scott Golden, the infamous. Mm -hmm. nice actually, shot. I wasn't sure. Did you guys finish that game? That we match? did, okay. while it was still drizzling. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, it wasn't the prettiest pickleball I've ever played, but we got through it, and uh, we were not on the winning end of it, but that's okay, because that means I don't have to go back to the East Coast <laughs> to play the gold medal match. <laughs> First time I don't mind uh, losing yeah. a <laughs> match in a tournament. Oh, nice pickup. The dinking here. Oh, yeah. Oh. The ladies are the dinkers. That's our job. Although these two ladies have some power, I will say they can hit the ball. You've already seen Christy have a few amazing shots through the middle of the court which is a really good spot because actually it's to my backhand, you know, so it's it's really tough to actually handle that. And it's really tough for Stefan to come over because mm -hmm. he's got to cover his line. So I'm like, oh, that was mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Darn it. Yeah, exactly. Darn it. Darn it. <laughs> I say that a lot. Do you? <laughs> I do. Oh, good ball. Jeez, nice draw. So Eddie, you play a lot also, right? I, I do. Um, I'm like I'm like just slightly below the level we're seeing out here tonight. Just a little uh, bit. I'm right? totally just kidding. Just a little bit. Barely by a hair. <laughs> by a hair. Uh, no, I'm you know three five player. Um, okay. I'm on my on my way to four zero. Very excited about that. Um, working my butt off to try and get there and you know doing what I can, enjoying it. Not three five going on five zero. Well, you know I I mean. <laughs> We got, got to play, play against uh, Kyle Yates a few weeks ago up in Grand That's Rapids. Right. That was pretty fun. So. Yes. Yeah. Got some good advice from Courtney on that match there. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. Yep. So that was a that was a good time, but 
No, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying the journey. And, you know, for me, I, I don't come from a racket background. And so it's, you know, it's kind of learning everything uh, from the ground up. And I'm super excited about it. That's, yeah. that, and, you know, that's not a bad thing either yeah. because I teach a lot of people that come from racquetball. I was just talking to a lady that's in the crowd tonight about her racquetball background. And she was saying, I just can't let go of the paddle. You know, yeah. I've got this death grip. My knuckles are white when I'm done playing. <laughs> and uh, I... I don't know how you just reset the ball and relax mm. <laughs> and uh the answer to that is practice right keep playing yeah. keep doing it you know just go out there and say all right i'm just hitting everything soft today even if you get one above your shoulders just you know relax soften it up put it in the kitchen no shame in that it's funny you say that because lately when i've been doing like open play or community play uh i'll i'll show up with a goal and it's like you know what Today I'm gonna play every single ball soft, and even even on those where they might be putaways, I'm just gonna play it soft. And I tell you what, whenever I do that, I find that I play so much better. Right. My errors are way down. Typically, my my opponents are expecting this hard shot. You give them a little bit of a change up, they don't know what to do with it, and it's just exactly the they whole expect thing. something totally different. Yeah. And that's very true. And that's what I tell my students also. A lot of times, especially if you play a lot, pick a day, pick one thing, and work on it. Yeah. And exactly. As opposed to trying to do five, six things at a time, and that's a little confused, making too much of that. So, for at least three or four games, people aren't going to go out of the ball. Yeah. And next three or four games, pick something else. That's how you become, that's how you build habits. Yeah. Uh, doing the same thing over and over. So, you want to do it right. Uh, that's, that's a great point, yeah. Yep, muscle memory. One thing that I think I got this from actually Mr. Pickleball, but uh, I want to say I heard him say when he was coaching, um, practice does not make perfect, it makes permanent. So if you practice the uh, wrong way, you're going to be really good at it. <laughs> I like that. We need yeah. to come up with the uh, Mr. Pickleball-isms, right? <laughs> That's or, uh, right. quotes, because I know he, yeah, well, what was he's my, got so many. Don't rush to failure when yep. I took my lessons with him. That That's was his favorite. Thing, yeah. Yeah. And you'll hear him say absolutely a lot. He yeah. just elongates it. <laughs> yeah. Cracks me up. Oh, nice save, Brandon. <laughs> I haven't had the score hit a 4 5. There you go. 4 5 1 hit. Oh, close one. And I like, uh, I see the comments. Uh, someone said hashtag kill shot. Yeah. I love that. Well, here, another one here. This was uh, actually for you there, Stefan. It was from Dominic Catalano, <laughs> and he says, that accent. Oh, man. <laughs> I believe that might be a winky face yeah, on there. And there's the, a glare, so it's hard to tell. Well, he's got the crying emoji, the side, the horizontal laughing he's emoji. He's got all kinds so. of stuff. Huh? This yeah. Dominic doesn't let go. Got he's always Dominic. looking out for me. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he's a good guy. Number dude. one fan, right? All right. <laughs> Dominic's cool guy. He did, he did some commentary with us at the Beer City Open. And yeah, through. he sounded good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he sounded really good. I was listening into yeah. that one. Um, yeah. That Actually, he just texted me on my way here because yeah. he told me he was going to be on the East Coast, but unfortunately, I have lessons in the morning, so uh, we won't get to play. So. Shoot. But it's always a good time getting together and playing and, and training and all. Mm. So Dominic is a good guy. Absolutely. Now, the outfit stuff, that's a whole <laughs> different thing. I won't get into that. <laughs> But it's okay, Dominic. We still love you. <laughs> Look good, feel good, right, Dom? <laughs> oh, nice job. That's a good one. Nice. Play. And weren't we just talking about even if you get a kill, what could be yep. a kill shot, softening it up? My partner had the best one I've ever seen during oh, our last match where he paint repainted the line <laughs> um, on the far sideline over there. She's really be trying to make me feel special today, huh? <laughs> I may not leave. That's like too much of a welcome Please here. stay. I like those compliments. <laughs> no, oh. it was just, it was so good. Honestly, I think that one was a little bit of a glare because you're, I'm looking at the court right there and it's shiny. It is. It's Little a little shiny, shiny yep. right there. And when, oh, when the uh, ball just comes from the shadow and then peeks out into the sun, you lose it for that split second and that's all you need. That's it, yeah. <laughs> that, that's it. That's all yeah. it takes. Split second. Well, and I've noticed too sometimes playing on these courts, um, you know, if you're playing on Brandon and Christie's side and you're, you're, your eyes go just above the windscreens. 
sometimes it's like it goes from dark to bright real quick and it can be a little challenging yeah yeah, yeah very true mm-hmm. um luckily now we've got that jumbotron yeah. that will get working soon um oh, <laughs> to nice. block some of that light yep. <laughs> but uh honestly uh the Jonathan and Dom's side looking over because the mesh netting is kind of low over here. You can't really see it in the camera, but it's really low. So you've got a lot of space to look onto the next court over. So that one's kind of lots of visuals coming to play over there. You know, that's Christy something else too that. that I've noticed in higher level play is that th- those kind of distractions don't they don't really bother you where when I go out on the court, I feel like I have to intentionally say, just focus on the ball. Don't worry about the crowd. Don't worry about what's going on. Where, you know, when you get to your guys' level, that's kind of almost like the barrier to entry, right? You already have to mentally be able to get there to perform like you do when you step out on the court. Yeah, I feel like it depends on the day, though. Really? (laughs) Some days easier than others? (laughs) Some days easier than others. (laughs) Okay. It depends. Did I have a full day of lessons <laughs> or... No, that definitely makes a None. big difference. <laughs> <laughs> or did I sleep in? We have a comment from Debbie Hubschman. She said it keeps freezing. Very I'm sorry, Debbie. We're, we're trying to do whatever we can to keep these um, these internet speeds to an acceptable streaming uh, level. And unfortunately, we're just not getting there. So we're doing whatever we can. Although we are going to be recording this. And we'll be releasing it also at a later date. There we All go. Right. So you guys can set up watch parties. There you yeah. go. All of uh, Brandon's fans are online right now. Okay, I see yeah. Taylor Niss just commented. Hi, yeah. Taylor. Hey, Taylor. <laughs> hey, Taylor. <laughs> yeah. He's playing great. She said, go B. Go B. That's his nickname. We, we don't say the full name. Uh. <laughs> it's just B. <laughs> And then sometimes, actually, I say nice shot T to her. So okay. we, we shorten her name, too. It's just easier. <laughs> you know, uh, Taylor actually saved us one time during, uh, let's see, this would have been a tournament in Plantation last year in December. What would that be, the South Florida Slam? Yeah, that sounds it, right, it one was, of the Gamma's yeah. tournaments. We were in a 3-0 bronze medal match, and our opponents hit the ball oh, and it hit, the, it hit the little ball carrier on the, the side of the net. And she ended up saying, no, that ball was dead at that point, and it ruled in our favor. So, oh, uh, nice. Yeah. So she totally yeah. saved us, which was nice. Game, she knows guys. the rules. That was yeah. a close one. <laughs> That's night. why I like playing with her, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got a tight game. It's always good to have somebody that knows the rules, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> All right, I think we're up. You guys are up. We All are. Right, bye, guys. All right, Eddie, we'll see you another Yeah, bit. we'll talk to you again soon. Perfect. You guys want to stay. I know. Hang out for another one. It's fun. We're doing a little transfer here. Never know. Some teams, a team going in, a team coming out. We'll be bringing you plenty more commentary here live from the Johnny Pickleball Show. And I got to tell you guys, we've already seen some pretty incredible pickleball play out here tonight, and we're going to see plenty more of it. we got plenty more where this came from. And plenty more good commentary for you guys here as well. Oh, yeah, you work with our I got to tell you, too, I'm loving these signs that Johnny Pickleball got made. The Pickleball Academy of Southwest Florida presents the Johnny Pickleball Show. Nice colors, got a nice little logo on it. <laughs> Gotta love it. And we are joined back again by Brandon Hubschman. How you doing, man? Good. Deja vu. Deja vu, yes. We actually had a, a couple of comments here. Taylor said, go B. Oh, uh, name Yeah, wait, Taylor. Do yeah, you know her? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Girlfriend, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're married yet. No, not yet. Dominic there. Yeah. Oh, that's my mom. Oh. It keeps freezing before she's complaining about something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't blame her. As you can see, it's a little choppy right now. Uh, the uh, the internet speeds are not what we're hoping for right now. So we're doing the best we can. The uh, pro pickleball was choppy earlier today, too. So oh. It happens. Oh. Yeah. Get there. Oh. Well, Brandon, guess what? We're going to be recording this and we're going to be re-releasing it. 
Perfect. So you can get the whole Hubschman crew together. You guys can get. You know what? What I think would be fun. Those big inflatable screens you can put oh, yeah, like yeah. in your in your backyard uh-huh. or lanai or whatnot. Uh-huh. And then be able to have a projector. Well, Taylor's dad actually. Uh, he's got the setup. Does he? Um, during Super Bowl, we have. Um, oh. Five or six screens going. Okay. And one of them's a projector on the side of the house. All right. The other one's a projector on the huge wall inside the house. Okay. Um, so, I mean, his, his place is the place to be for that type of stuff. So, a party at uh, Taylor's dad's place. Nice. Yes. Uh, we had a huge party last year. I think Dominic was there. Kyle Yates was there. Okay. A um, bunch of pickleball people. So. Cool. That's our little group we got. And it's a uh, little is probably not the right word. Little, yeah. <laughs> I think it fell, I don't know if it was after a tournament or something, but we just had a bunch of players over there, so yeah, right in the Super Bowl party. I like it. And Christy's back with us. Yay! <laughs> so how did that last match go, guys? Uh, better. Yeah. Better. Um, we were I'm, in it, yeah, and, and then all of a sudden we weren't. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny did this get? thing where... 11-9 or... 11-9, yeah. Oh, he perfectly timed the Go Johnny Go song. Yes, uh, that was definitely <laughs> not accidental. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He strategically put that in his playlist yeah. to be during that match. Huh? Yeah, I mean, he, he just did the same thing. Towards the end of the game, if it's yeah. close, he'll just take over and insert himself. And most of the time, it usually, it's it's just tough to, I mean, get it to Dominique. It's not the best strategy. There's just a great <laughs> player, but that's what we were attempting to do. Right. Dominique had some good dinks. She gets a lot of spin on her dinks, and it's tough to pick them up. Um, she's got an interesting game, and it works really well. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the patience here. Yeah. Ooh. It's been a lot of luck cords. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Net's got to be high. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, and we got a measuring table. Oh, you know what? I actually, from the Beer City Open, I, I got a got one? Yeah, a gamma oh, were they giving measuring them out? tape. They were giving them out oh, there. Yeah. Cool. So that ended up, actually, actually they, they were throwing them to the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> That's how cool the Beer City Open is. They were, they were literally throwing prizes it at the sounds, crowd. Sounds uh, slightly dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Measuring tail. They tell everyone to put their protective eyewear on. <laughs> yeah. Everyone put your glasses on. We're throwing the measuring tapes. <laughs> Good defense by Dominique. <laughs> That sun is definitely coming out. Did you guys notice yeah. in your last match that it oh, affected yeah. I, all? There was actually two shots where Johnny drove them right at me, and as soon as they crossed that little net where the sun's bright right on this side of the kitchen, it uh, just disappeared. Yeah. Just, yeah. It, the, the, it also, your depth perception oh, yeah. is yeah. totally yeah. off. Um, especially the, the ball is a little newer, so it's got that shine. Mm-hmm. As soon as that light hits it, it blows. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Courtney's got very good defense from the baseline. Uh, we joke about it a lot because um, they were in that tournament we played uh, this past weekend. It was hot. It was one o'clock and it was about 95 degrees, and uh, our pa- all our paddles were slipping out of our hands. Oh, so wow. none of us could go 100 percent, and we wanted to so bad because Courtney was getting everything back. Um, you just got to kind of restrain yourself and just say, "Oh, yeah, she'll miss one eventually." <laughs> so you go 100 percent. That paddle's flying. On that gotcha, one. Yeah. Yeah. Johnny's very good at, at ball placement, um, especially on those volleys off the dinks. Uh, he'll play, he'll flick it right where he wants. Yeah. Usually, it's that that uh, right armpit, right shoulder area where, yeah. you, where you get jammed. Yeah, look how much spin we get gets on her. Yeah, cross court and. Oh. Uh, so we were talking about music where uh, Johnny Be Good came on. Do you guys have particular music that you listen to to get you pumped up for pickleball at all? I actually don't think that's a good idea. No? Um, <laughs> I would I would get too pumped up and then okay. hit every third shot high. Yeah. Oh, that one. Right, yeah, uh, it doesn't think, help the patience game I think too much. Might be a little better. <laughs> Slow you down a little bit? Yeah, I'll, I'll reserve the music for the gym. <laughs> you know uh, Tony Roy from Into oh, yeah. Pickle. Yeah, he's awesome. He uh, he great. He's he's awesome. He's been um helping me become a 4.0 player. Oh, it's at the pat. Was it path the road to 4.0? Uh, Project, Project 4.0. 4. Project 4.0. 4. 4. Yep. <laughs> Which is great, man. He's been watching my video, telling me yeah. all the things I'm doing wrong. But he um he will he wears these headphones or these bone conductive headphones that don't go over your ears. Uh, they're. I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. I've seen like, those. They go like right here. Yeah, they go like right here. Mm-hmm. Right. I, I have a pair and I wear them. I've never worn them out on the court, but 
he, he said this great because he can keep his music going to keep him in the zone, but also it doesn't cover your ears so you can still stay present with, with what's going on. It just so. transmits the sound waves through, through yeah. the zone, correct? Yeah. Yep. These microphone stands don't want to stay up <laughs> for some reason. It's the humidity. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always wondered what, uh, what really kind of music he's listening to. Uh, yeah, I've, I know some players who actually will, will listen to music while they play. Yeah. Um, and I mean, power to them. Yeah. I don't know if I could, because yeah. you know, my I have like my, my running playlist, uh -huh. and I don't know, I I don't think that'd be good for pickleball. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's always good that like you play. Oh, nice shot, nice yeah. spawn there. Uh, yeah, Stefan's so powerful. He just leans in that shot yeah. and gets it right down on the ground. Um, well, definitely the music would help your footwork. You know, mm -hmm. warming up. Oh yeah, it's would be, be a good That's idea. Right. Yeah, we play at home when we play. We have our group together. We just we put on the music and it's just everyone's having a good time. Yeah, exactly. So for those situations, I like it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sweet shot. I wonder if there'd be something, though, that you could do with music. I know, like, basketball teams, they'll, they'll play, the like, a soundtrack mm -hmm. when they're on offense to get them in rhythm. I wonder if there's something like that for people. Let's invent it. Here comes Let's a project. Do. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> project, uh, maybe Tony will come up with the name for us. <laughs> Yeah, Tony's great. I actually first met him, um, I don't believe it was the U.S. Open. I think it might be in one of the other tournaments here, one of the million tournaments yeah. they have at this park. Um, we met him about two years ago, my partner and I. Um, and he was just great. Um, super good player, super knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And for anyone who wants to improve their game, he's got a web series. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel. It's called Into Pickle. Um, and it's just super informative, um, especially for those kind of lower level players that are like looking to to get to that three five four zero level. Um, mm -hmm. he's, he's very informative. Yeah, I love his kind. I've watched every single one of his videos, yeah, some of yeah. them multiple times. Mm -hmm. And he's out there with his his wife, I believe, yep, Jill. Jill. Um, and she's great too. I think they play mixed a lot. Uh, great point there. Did you see that? Yeah. Courtney had great yeah. hands on that. Made them hit one more ball, uh -huh. one more ball, one more ball. One more ball back, right? Yeah. Yep. That's one of those, I mean, you're, you're not supposed to go back. Um, you're supposed mm. to hold your ground, but on those, I mean, you can't really do much. So she was coming back, and then Oof. her strokes just didn't change, so that one fell short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do we know the score here? 6-5-1, six, six, one, one, one? Yeah. That's a close one. Oh. Oh. oh, we have a little souvenir come our way here. <laughs> Brand, did I did I hear that you're also an art director? Is that right? I am an art director. Oh, that's um, cool. I'm hopefully no one from work is watching right now because I'm at a doctor's appointment. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> Quotation marks doctor's appointment. Okay. Um, yeah, but uh, I'm an art director. And I work for an av a fairly one of the biggest advertising agencies in the world. Um, and I work on the Nissan account. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I do I do a lot of um, artwork for uh, for Nissan, and actually uh, I do a lot of work for Selkirk as well. Cool. So uh, most of the new stuff that Selkirk's putting out, um, I've had my work, uh, I've had my touch in. That's really cool. Yeah. Johnny goes through between the legs again. Yeah. Usually, that shot looks like it's for flair. He actually does utilize that shot a lot. I definitely have seen him pull it off yeah. quite yeah. a bit. Yeah. He's, just, he's got quick enough reactions where he'll just stick his yeah. power right there if it comes right out of his body. Ah, so smooth. Yeah. Pull that one. <laughs> oh, almost shot him between the legs there again. Uh, you'll see a lot of the, I'm sure you know, but a lot of the uh, the mixed points. Um, however they start, usually you want to get into that cross-court dink with a girl. Or they, not that you want to, right. but um, that's usually how they end up. So this point we'll, we'll spawn, we'll ruin that by poaching. Um, but they'll go cross-court with the girl, and then it's just kind of a dink battle um, until one of the guys can kind of stick their, their paddle in there and... Um, create some chaos. <laughs> That's a good way to describe yeah. it. Either for, for good or bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So it's it's tough. I'm um, practicing, or I guess playing mix as a guy, because you're obviously not seeing a lot of the balls. Um, but I I take pride in playing mix, and I think it's kind of an art form to to know when to insert yourself, and obviously you have to trust your partner, um, because if you don't, they probably shouldn't have played in the tournament <laughs> right. to begin with. I prefer watching mixed out of all. Really? Yep. Interesting. I've always enjoyed it. I, I don't know. I just feel like you. You, in, in mix, you get the best of both worlds. You get yeah. you get the patience, you get mm -hmm. the slow, and then you get the strategy too. Yeah. You know, and, and and I think that there's more complexity to the strategy in mixed true. as well that's true. that you might not see in either women's or men's. And so that's I prefer yeah, that's it. Yeah, I actually like watching women's doubles. Yeah. Oh, um, for sure. I mean, especially like with Lee and Annalie and and um, like when they're playing Simone, no matter who's <laughs> who's with Simone, it's just it's just all power. And yeah. then the defense is right there to counter it. I mean, Simone's defense too. I mean. Annalie and Lee can put a ball away and you put her against Simone and Simone will get three, four, not all of them back. Yeah. Um, and that's why I like, I like the women's game. There's a lot of back and forth and a lot of those balls get reset. Um, and then with, with mixed, I mean, guys too, but guy, the guys are so powerful where it's just, I'm usually, oh, oh Cordy gets caught on one of those. <laughs> um, like if we're playing mixed and the guy gets a hold of a good one, it's usually going to get put away. Yeah. Um, but the girls will put it away and then get it right back. It's awesome. But the women's game has really changed the last couple of years oh, with the yeah. power yep, and, yep. and the defense that had to come up with mm -hmm. resetting so much more. Oh. Oh. He wants that one back. <laughs> totally. Yeah, power's kind of making its way into the game more so as a, as a winning factor. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it certainly is. I don't know if it'll be a bell curve or it'll go back to the soft game, but it's it's just, I mean, especially with influx of tennis players too, you're getting these guys who can come in here and basically take full swing like that. I yep. mean, that's, that's a volley, but dig full to ground stroke swings, and it's just, it, it's just a common shot. Like when I hit it, when I hit a third shot, it's just like kind of, I kind of know it's going to go over. When they, they can rip a forehand as hard as they can, and it's just the same mentality, um, and they've been just doing it their whole lives. So I think that's the main reason why the game's kind of changing. Yeah. I think I heard it. 872 was before, so side out, so 781 now. And this is probably where Johnny will try to insert himself a little bit more. Oh. That's a good spot by Dummy. It's a hard spot to hit the ball from. <laughs> Johnny did a good job there, of spreading the two out. Um, in any, in mixed and men's and women's, you you want to spread the players out for those op to find the openings, um, and that's a that's a good way to win the point. Uh, he went backside just to fall and spread him out. Got Courtney spread out and then went backwards. It was also a good display of not overpowering it. it he's able to soften it up and hit the feet. Yeah, usually if you do a good job, nice shot there. If you do a, do a good job of spreading them out, you really, if the opening's there, you don't need to kill it. Yeah. And I, I've learned that the hard way. I have a tendency to try to yeah. little, little, go for those little, bonus points. Yeah, a little too much. <laughs> it's open there, and you just want to hit it there so hard, and it's just, you don't, really don't need to. Oh, good deal. Oh. <laughs> nice deal from Courtney there. <laughs> <laughs> Pay for every part of it, you might as well use it. Nice tee. Oh. That's a rare miss on one of those. She likes those shots where there's high dinks, you explode on them down the middle. Both these girls playing right now will, when the high dink comes, they usually tend to go middle. It's just knowledge you gain from playing them often. Kind of pick up under their tendencies. Good pick up. Stefan whispers out there. <laughs> whispers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so where do both of you guys uh, play most of your uh, most of your matches at? I'm, I have to travel um, a bit because on uh, Sanibel Island it's not uh, it doesn't have a hotbed of a lot of players. Sure. So I do have to come to Naples some or uh, 
you know, veterans in Benita or in Fort Myers. So it's really, uh, I, I'm on the road playing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is there any play in Sanibel at all? Because I know there's, um, yeah. there, there's a tournament there. There is. Yeah. Yeah, no, that we, we do have, we definitely have some great uh, rec play, and it's actually expanding quite a bit. Um, and we have some good tournaments at Sundial that are very nice. Okay. They have 12 courts there, and it's a nice facility. Um, and I play uh, at a few different places. I have the luxury of um, having a large set of courts basically within any five miles in any direction oh, nice. <laughs> uh, back home. So like, certain nights we'll play in this, uh, this one park, and then... Um, on weekends, we usually play at the Delray Beach um, Tennis Center, which is actually on the ATP Tour. Um, okay. And any given day, there'll be more pickleball players and tennis players there. So, uh, so that's a great facility. Um, that's where Aunt Lee and Annalie are out of. Yeah. Um, and then we also play at uh, Davie at Bamford Park. Um, Steve Kennedy teaches there. Is that where the tournament was last weekend? Yes. Okay. Um, actually, Ben Johns and Deco Bar were just playing there, I think, this morning, not yesterday. Oh, cool. Um, and then Eden Lika, kind of a new face of the tour, uh, going to be a good player. He just moved down to Miami, so that's where he's basically uh Where, where was he at before Miami? He was in, was it Pennsylvania, okay. I want to say? Somewhere in, in the Northeast. Um, I believe he was private coach uh, in tennis. And I'm not sure what he's doing now, but I'm assuming something in the same realm. Um, but there's actually not a lot of play in Miami. Uh, there's some places, but... Usually the players in Miami, I know Martina Coakley, mm-hmm. you're familiar with her. Um, yeah. She drives, oh my God, I don't know how many miles she has on her car, we joke about it. But <laughs> she drives up to Davie, up to Delray, which Delray is probably a good hour and a half with traffic away from her house. Um, yeah, but those Miami guys usually usually come to Davie. Okay. Um, so that's kind of a hotbed for, for pickleball as well as Delray Beach. And then we have some hidden gem courts, which I'll not disclose the location of. <laughs> Oh, what a cat. Oh! 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 Now, guys, that's why we come to the Johnny Pickleball Show. She plays like that. Dominic Levin Show. Yes. Is it our time? It's your time. All right. Go get him, guys. I'll see you back here soon. <laughs> Good one. Well, guys, we are live from the Johnny Pickleball Show here at East Naples Community Park. And I got to tell you, man, we've seen, we've seen some incredible play here tonight. We're going to be seeing plenty more, though. We still got another half hour show or half hour of the show. Excited about that. And uh, what I want to do is I want to talk about some organizations real quick that, uh, that really are doing some great things for the sport of pickleball. Let's start with the Pickleball Academy of Southwest Florida. They have lessons, clinics, camps, and more, and two of their instructors are playing tonight. With Pickleball for All, a nonprofit dedicated to bringing pickleball to students, veterans, and wheelchair athletes. We have the Pickleball Pro Shop of Collier County, All Things Pickleball. They have locations at East Naples and Veterans Park. And Southern Tropics Tournaments, annual pickleball tournaments at East Naples Community Park. And we're going to be Jumping right back into the action here very shortly. As I mentioned before, guys, I understand that the video feed is a little choppy right now. We do apologize for that. We're trying to do every single thing that we can in order to be able to get high-quality streaming to you guys. Uh, But sometimes the Internet doesn't want to cooperate, and that's what's happening here tonight. We're not getting the uh, bandwidth that we need to be able to really get you some of the best quality videos. So what we're going to be doing is recording all this and then releasing it at a later date as well. So I promise you, you will be able to get to see all these exciting matches going on. And it's just me all alone right now. Johnny and Dominique are probably taking a well-deserved water break. Nice defense from Courtney there. That sun is starting to uh, hug the horizon there a little bit. Oh my and he's back. The one and only Johnny Pickleball. How are you, man? Work, working hard tonight. Man, yeah. I got to tell you, that last man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one, man. We kind of had some good defense. And yeah. then, uh, our offense was a little rough for a little while. But 
It was good. I mean, whatever. I tried some different backhand rolls that probably I would never try. But sure. I want to give it a go, and it was fun. So great last point, man, Dominique. Just with the. Oof. Yeah, I mean, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna win a match, that's how you do it. It's a good way. To that's do it. how you do it, Dominique. Right? That's right. Golly. <laughs> I'm I don't know how covered. I did that. No, I'm Do glad. we have that on replay? Oh, we, oh we, we have it recorded. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm glad she Sweet. covered the middle once I pretty much dove off the court. Yeah. yeah that's good, man. Plenty of highlights coming from that match there for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Good practice. One thing I've been mentioning, too, is that although the stream quality is a little choppy right now, we are recording all this, so we'll definitely be releasing this so everybody can catch all the action here from the Johnny Pickleball Show, including the great commentary, right? Absolutely, man. <laughs> From the All Star, That's yeah. Right. From Johnny Pickleball himself, from Eddie, Eddie himself, Eddie. man. Are you talking? Oh, we're just here for you moral guys. support. You guys are too much. Uh. Oh, man. this has been fun though, man. I've been having a blast. Yeah. Watch. I mean, these, the the level of talent you have out here is incredible. Oh, it's it's cool. It's a yeah. lot of you know. What I mean, um, whenever we do the shows, you have the big names. But there's so many great players out there, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I'm not ever going to take away anything from the great players, man. Those guys are uh, phenomenal mm -hmm. on a completely different level, you yeah. know what I mean? But then you see that yep. block. Absolutely. That's phenomenal. And, yeah. yeah, and you see just some amazing shots come from people. And, um, you know, it's just cool. And, and, and like I said, somebody was going to catch fire. I didn't know who it was going to be. Uh, I, yeah, I yeah. know, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, somebody was going to catch fire and someone was going to have kind of an off night. Um, so I don't know who that is either, but you know it's it's too early still, and I usually make that judgment call at the end. Yeah, and hope it's not me. Still, still and too early, early to say. Huh? Still too early to say. Okay. Yeah. Johnny catches fire a lot of times. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes he goes into uh, Uber Johnny mode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what she called it on. And court, I man. told him you you gotta just be Johnny, just not Uber back. Johnny. Yeah, you gotta dial it back a little bit sometimes. <laughs> so bring it back. And then he bring was like, back. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, I drop it back down. So. I need a reminder sometimes. Right, and obviously that's good, you know, with a good partnership is being yeah. able to recognize that. Yep, yep. So just Ooh, like we were wow. playing, uh, Christy and, and, and them uh, figured out where to, uh, Dom was pushing her out wide. I said yeah. just think straight to her. You know, so little things that we pick up while we're playing and we can just give to the other person. Okay. And then it'll adjust everything almost on the fly. Yeah. That was a fun. good one. That was a good one, yeah. That one worked. Because Christy has such a good angle, Dink. Right. She'll get you. So if you pull her out wide, she'll pull you even wider and probably win the point. Okay. So, you know, right. Instead, you just go right at her body and jam her. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But a lot of things that I've learned from the great Simone and using tonight. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah. It's fun to try those things and hope that it works. <laughs> you know, hope, that, hope for the best. It doesn't always work. No. It's a good, it's good effort. Yeah. You've learned from Simone? I've tried. Oh, I have too. It's so crazy. <laughs> She's amazing. She's, She's amazing. quite incredible, isn't she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the work ethic, man. Yeah, oh my God. I, uh, I got to watch her and Tony Giannani. Yeah, he's really good, man. Yeah, he's a great player, got, smart player. Yeah, I got to watch them do uh, some drills last Friday, actually. Yeah. Wow. They are. They treat it like a tennis practice. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> They're talking about uh, uh, what's that coach? Um, Voltaire? Is that his oh, Voltaire. Voltaire. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how he's basically saying um, during during training, there's no out balls. You play everything. Mm -hmm. No that's two right. bounces. So you might actually see uh, a video. Of Simone oh, cool. coming up pretty soon. Oh, nice. That. So, yeah. It's about I'm, I'm time. not going to hit too much, but <laughs> let's just yeah. say uh, Simone might be stepping yeah. up uh, her social media, maybe some other videos. Yes, Perfect. So, yeah. yeah, super excited about that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Got caught, it's called the eye formation. Yeah. <laughs> it's called the eye formation. Yeah. yeah. Good, <laughs> good in football, <laughs> not in pickleball. Nah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. there we go. So Tony lives here now, Giannoni? Or what? No, he's in Orlando. Orlando, yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's good stuff. Man. Yeah, yeah, one thing I like about Tony too is obviously he's, you know, he's big on the sports psychology and the mental game I know, along yeah. with it too, which is I think is so important. He was the first person when I posted uh, getting ready for the show tonight. He was the first person to like my photo. Oh, really? Like, yeah. Nice. So I was like, I want to reach out to him. I would love to do some stuff with him sometime, yeah. and uh, especially sports psychology. Mm -hmm. Just let him destroy my mind a little bit. You know what I mean? What's funny? Um, I, we've talked about it a little bit on the podcast before, but my wife has her master's degree in sports psychology, actually. Oh, oh. Yeah, and so she I'm, analyzes you. She does. She's actually sitting right over there too. She's got her back to me right now. <laughs> yes. Hi. Oh, that's we're talking about is. you. <laughs> And, and we're talking about, uh, you know, your, your, your master's degree in sports psychology. So, yeah. We can hang out anytime. Yeah. 
Well, I just, she needs to work on me first, right? Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true, it's true. I've been trying to get her to help me out on those courts, and she does. What do you need help with? Oh, man, the, the pregame jitters. The, <laughs> I mean, you name it, right? You know, I, I didn't grow up in competitive sports. Yeah. This is all still this is something it. very new to me. But so. see, that's also why this game is so popular mm -hmm. is because for those that didn't compete in other sports growing up, yeah. they're finding that they can compete in this at what a different level of, or whatever level they're at. You know what I mean? But they can still compete, yeah. and they still can have that that whole experience of traveling to a tournament that kids that played possibly like AAU sports right. got to have. You yeah. know what I mean? Which I think is really catching fire. And it doesn't matter if you're 12 or, or 85. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the cool part. I yeah. think everyone still gets that, you know, a little bit of jitters. Right. Which is kind of neat. You know what I mean? Well, because I, mean, I, I, I did play sports. I played, you know, Little League football, uh, baseball for years and years. Uh, even high school golf. That was fun. But yeah, I just, I don't It's almost like I never... I never really cared enough about the competitive side of it until pickleball. Right. And now it's like, I kind of get it. I get it now why people want to be professional athletes. I understand why there's that desire fun, to, man. yeah. <laughs> it's really, fun. Right, isn't it? Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's, good it's fascinating. Time. Well, strive to get there. Yeah. Especially in this game, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm learning something every day. You yeah. know, every yep. month yeah. I'm learning something new. Right. It was what I learned from Simone. What she told uh, taught me was being more aggressive. Okay. Because I was just dinking, dinking, dinking. I wasn't really speeding it up. And she really taught me when to go fast and when not to. Mm -hmm. And then recently I worked on my blocking. We That's saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it works, you know. And um, you know it'll be something else <laughs> with this game. Yeah. It's so funny to watch like people that play together all the time. Like you can tell Brandon and Stefan mm -hmm. like play together all the time because that's you know it's only I, I think they have some some good they have some really good players on the East Coast side mm -hmm. but you know the same people just like you know the same people kind of play around here too you know what I mean so it's, it's always kind of interesting to watch. Yeah, one thing I love about pickleball too is you know you can be great friends off the court. Oh, absolutely. And still being you know compete mm -hmm. very competitively with each other. You know, I think it's funny. I feel like pickleball matches, especially on the pro level too, it's like people are hugging each other more before and after the match than any other sport. Yeah. Yep. That's probably true. Yeah. Good drop. Good drop. <laughs> yep. Nice soft hands over there. So, Johnny, are you working on a Nick Curios shot here? Ooh, which one? The, the, the tweener. I know. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, it's because I, I get caught, man. And, like, you know, some of those hit off the net, so it really wasn't right. Um, but, yeah, no, a little bit, I guess. I had one behind the back last week, which was uh, incidental as well. Really? So I think some of the great shots come from just accident. And, like, you know, you can plan <laughs> them sometimes. Just like our last point. Yeah. Not coordinated at all. You yeah. know what I mean? Just, like, hope for the best. Hope we get that ball out wide. And then, you know, just it is crazy. So that was... I think that's where it all kind of, you can plan it, but it usually doesn't go well when you plan it, you know. It worked. It works. Go for it. Improvise. There you go. This, this is, microphone uh, stand does not want to stay up here tonight. Let me blame Brandon. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Come on, Brandon. Oh, Brandon. And we're at match point. Oh, my gosh. Game point. Like we just stepped off the court. I'm going to go drink some water. All right, right do that. Here. Thank you, go man. Go for it. My pleasure. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Great defense here. Oh, just got a little locked up there in the feet. That's a hard. That's a hard ball to hit. This is yours. Uh oh. Looks like uh, Johnny and Dominique are confused as whose paddles whose because they're both playing with the same one, right? Look exactly alike. Yeah. He got me to this uh, to try this head radical. Okay. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I tried some other ones, but didn't really feel it. I love this one. So what is it about a nice pickleball paddle? Is it just the way it feels in the hand? Is it the weight? Is yeah. it the the? I like this grip. Yeah. Okay. It's, it, it's very very you want, nice. Why don't you like show everybody? Grip. Show everybody the uh, the paddle you got there. Yep. That's the radical tour. Radical is that right? tour. Yep. Okay. And um, you. Feel the paddle. It, it's got a lot of, um, yeah. Oh wow! It's yeah. Very okay. Very gritty. Yeah. So you get a lot of spin. A lot of spin on it. My dinks are have more spin on it. Okay. So I feel more confident on putting spin on the dinks. They're more effective.
What do you play with? Uh, I'm I'm a little bit of a Paddletech fanboy. Um, I actually I uh, I play with the U.S. Open Tempest Pro, and I love it. I love that paddle. Yeah, it just seems to fit me very well. It gives me power when I need it. It's also very soft. Yeah. And it's just, you know, it, I picked it up and I immediately fell in love with it. In fact, I got it the first day of the U.S. Open and I played with it at the U.S. Open. That's how much I liked it right away. You know, I felt I felt that confident right off the bat. Yeah. Did Kyle sell you on that one? <laughs> I bet he did. He, uh, he, he might have been the reason why I... Uh, I started to look into paddle tech as an option, but uh-huh. honestly, you know, I'm, this, I'm on my third paddle tech paddle now, and it works, it works for me. I like it. It's it's my brand. There you go. Yeah. But I got to tell you, um, I I started wearing the head shoes uh-huh. that Johnny's got, and I'm loving those. Yeah. Very nice. They are nice. Yeah. All right, we're off. Okay. Good luck. We'll see, see you, you soon. Oh my gosh! Again. <laughs> Another great match. You know what else is great? Organizations that really help the sport of pickleball. Let's talk about a few of those. We have the Pickleball Academy of Southwest Florida. They have lessons, clinics, camps, and more. And we have Pickleball for All. They are a nonprofit dedicated to bringing pickleball to students, veterans, and wheelchair athletes. We have the Pickleball Pro Shop of Collier County, all things pickleball. They have locations at East Naples and Veterans Park. And Southern Tropics Tournaments. They have annual pickleball tournaments at East Naples Community Park. And I've played in quite a few of them, and I enjoy them. Me too. Yeah. Oh, Julie, yeah. Let's talk about that. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cut to showing us, even though the sun's kind of in our eyes here. Um, fine. I'm a little sweaty, so bear with me. Let's talk about Julie Sports, man. Yeah, what, definitely. What's, what's that all about? So I'm actually the owner and coach over there, so I created a little company in order to... Um, <laughs> I fell in love, like everybody else, with the sport of pickleball. So Joy Sports is my company where I teach and also I represent the comp- my sponsors, Engage, and uh, other places, other people also. So I'm located based in Plantation, Florida, at Central Park. Okay. And I also teach in the entire area from, let's say, Miami to West Palm Beach. I have different locations in that coast. So anybody that is interested in pickleball, yeah, I'm definitely can join. The other big thing that I'm actually starting to work on right now is I think we're losing a lot of beginners. Yeah. Because with this sport, unfortunately, you got a lot of beginners who are starting or excited to start. But unfortunately, when they show up to an open play, they are very intimidated mm-hmm. or they don't have the confidence or they don't know better. To, for example, different places have different systems. You have one system where you put your paddle down so that you can play next. Yep. Another system that have buckets or yeah. different things. Here they have whiteboards where exactly. you, yeah, yeah. you fill out. Yep. But unfortunately, what happens is that a newcomer will show up and would kind of wait and don't know what to do. So I think for me, one thing that I'm really trying to do in the next few months, or I started actually, I have, I, I'm sure you guys have heard of Meetup, mm-hmm. meetup.com. Yeah. So I have a group called... Uh, if you go to meetup, meetup.com slash Jolie Sports, um, I create a group where I'm actually looking to have people sign up and create a platform where beginners can uh, meet, somewhat meet up and find out where they are. And eventually, probably, they can very well be three or four of them in the same area and go out and play together. Okay. Love that. And that way, they can have their confidence and gain the confidence. I'm also welcoming the intermediate and advanced players also because I really want this to be a platform of information where people can come out and ask questions and the, the people that have been in that level can tell them what kind of stuff they've done, mm-hmm. what's worked for them. It's different. Because the other thing, too, you, got, you have personalities. Right. Right. Yeah. So you have people. Yes, you so, yeah. so because of that, you have people that are shy or intimidated, intimidated, and they don't have the confidence to yeah. to walk up to people. Whereas you have yeah. those other people that could care less, and they'll they are very outgoing and very uh, in, extrovert, and will walk up to the court no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. So those people are the ones that go ahead, whereas the other ones that are more reserved, unfortunately, get left out, and I think they get very frustrated. Yeah. So I think we're missing a good crowd. So definitely yeah. anybody that's out there, who anybody that you know that wants to start pickleball, yeah. go ahead and join the group and the more people we'll have. Eventually, I'm gonna actually going to start doing some introduction clinics to I get people it. going, most likely free introduction clinics to get people started and get people to meet one another. Okay. And uh, with that, you can we can definitely help the sport grow because 
of course I'm doing this for a living and right. I enjoy doing it but I think one of big piece for me is uh, growing in the sport right you know? yeah. and one mission that I have especially for the company and all is to promote health because I know everybody thinks that this sport is uh, for seniors and all right. or it's an old sport but yet the sport is getting younger it and still younger. has that stigma around it and e even though there's been tons of efforts from people exactly. people still think of it as an older person sport right correct and for me I think my mission is one of the things I want to do is kind of target the seniors and the kids and I know actually uh, my partner here Courtney I think they're doing a tremendous stuff a tremendous job um, um, training a bunch of kids. I saw some of them in the tournament in Davie last weekend and I was yeah. so happy to see them play. But I think those are two targets that we definitely need to work on because everybody has the middle ground and right. all. And I think the reason why I'm really want to focus the seniors too is because there's a lot of people that uh, uh, are out there that don't know about the sport. The sport is, I think the reason why a lot of people fall in love with it is because it's very easy to pick up. Mm -hmm. yes. Of course, yeah. there's a lot to learn. There's a lot of strategies, techniques and all. But anybody can pick up and paddle and go yeah. play, at least e hit some balls. Easy to start, hard to master. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It gets every generation on yeah. the court at this, on the same court, mm -hmm. which exactly. is what I love. Yeah, and yeah. the other big thing too is the fact that, and I think that's another aspect that a lot of people love is the social aspect of yeah. it. Yeah. So are you sure, I'm sure you have plenty of uh, 50, 60, 70 year olds, if not older, that are sitting at home not doing anything. So just being out on the pickleball, you don't have to be running left and right or right. all over sprinting, but at least you're going to be <laughs> out there sweating a little bit. And like I said, the social aspect of it, you're going to have plenty of people. I've, I've known, especially at those plantation courts, shout out to all my people in plantations. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they have long life friends and long, 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 a great relationship. They, uh, I think we're all a big family over there. Yeah. So there's a big social aspect with pickleball. And I think that's the big difference with tennis, where tennis, you have four people, get gather four people and go play. Yeah. Whereas pickleball, there's oh. mostly open play, yeah. right? And everybody can just show up and play. We are showing the match right now, right? They can see the match right now. Yes. Perfect, because right. that point was amazing. <laughs> that had everything except a lob. <laughs> everything but a lob. Everything but a lob. It was amazing gets. But, yep, yep. Stefan, I yeah. mean, like you were saying, not to take anything away from you, that was amazing. I'm so excited for you. Good, thank um, you. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like you have something for everybody, which is really what this sports needs, Definitely. you know. So, yeah, um, on his hat... Uh, I just noticed. So when you're watching oh, where's, where's the on his hat, you can see oh, it. There, you go. there it Sports. is. There's the uh, logo for yeah, Jolly Sports. Get it closer to it. Where's the camera? There we go. Right, where yeah, is yeah. it? Yeah. There we go. All Jolly right. Sports, everybody. Jolly Sports. <laughs> <laughs> that's great, man. Yeah, that's exciting. I mean, and um, I do have to brag a little bit because we he did mention my kids. Um, I call them my kids because I teach them and uh, I spend at least, um, well, given the weather, uh, two hours a week with them. And uh, my kids got silver this past weekend yeah, in, uh, in the tournament uh, over in Davie. So cool. I, was, I was so proud. Yeah. They're playing another one this weekend. They just left today um, up in Tampa. And so I'll be cheering for them from afar mm -hmm. this time. But... Last week, I got to watch them. Oh, oh nice, nice shot, shot, Johnny. He's, it's just so effortless. Yeah. It's not yeah. fair. I know. No, that, that, that's definitely a demo, demographic that we definitely need to spend some time with. Is, uh, yeah. And if you see, if you look at the Super I think they had a junior division. But looking around, you don't really see kids going around. Yep. And I think uh, the sport is fun enough where we can have a good junior program a lot of different places and that's how we get the sport better that's how we start the sport early yeah, yeah follow to help uh, them grow. usapa juniors mm -hmm. on on facebook if you're not that has a lot of um updates on uh what the kids in our sport are doing and so it's really uh rewarding to see um also i get a few ideas for my kids you know to make them better so i love it good 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 yeah, good thing to follow they're the future yeah mm, that's right so I guess for me to wrap up a little bit, so if you guys are ever in the East Coast, mm -hmm. anywhere from Miami to West Palm Beach, definitely reach out. And I'm over there also with uh, Steve Kennedy. We train a lot and we actually yeah. do clinics every so often also together. But uh, definitely for myself, you can reach out to me. Uh, you can go to my page on Jolie Sports on Facebook. 
I'm actually working on a website right now, so hopefully that should be coming soon. But uh, you yeah. can go to uh, joliesports.com yeah. and put your email, and then I'll definitely follow up with you guys. I joined I it a couple weeks All ago. Right. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I'm yeah. ready. All I right. just got yeah. the invite. I felt special. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so I'll leave my number also. It's 404 236 9966. 404-236-9966 Stefan Jolicoeur and I would love to have you guys if you guys are in the area let me know we can set up gameplay for you guys we have uh, different many locations to play and a uh, great competition over there on the East Coast actually yeah. there's one thing that I want to say Courtney we had uh, I think Steve and Steve Kennedy and Simone had an East Coast versus West Coast a couple of years ago yes I think we're gonna have to do something like that soon I agree we I should we should I revive would it I would love to do that would that. be cool we'll but then that means that. I can't be your partner oh uh, okay never mind this yeah, is, yeah. it's <laughs> off it's <laughs> off because yeah. I don't know if I can let you go that quick never mind <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I think that's a big thing I think uh, I think a lot of people are doing different things to promote the port, especially something like today, which I think is a great event. Mm -hmm. You guys with Eddie and Webby, and uh, there's a couple of other people who are doing different things that are helping promote the sport and helping grow the sport. And that's the oh, kind of stuff that excites me, you know? Yep. The fact that the sport is growing, the fact that people are willing to either, either uh, um, choose to do something or take less money to help promote, to, for looking for the future as opposed to the quick. Yep. gain right now right. but going through the pains to grow something and help the sports grow so those are the things that definitely makes me very excited it's such an exciting time to be in pickleball it is. isn't it definitely, it is. definitely i mean it's just going up and up and up and up and and here we are being part of it and i mean any two years from now we're gonna look back and be like what and, what uh, happened and I remember. I, go back to I remember when there was one tournament every three months. Right. right? Yeah. Exactly. Now it's like almost every weekend <laughs> every weekend yeah i was just actually uh this uh, afternoon, since it was raining, we were talking about the weather earlier, but it was raining, so I got oh. a chance to do some work online, <laughs> yeah. and so I got to see all the tournaments that I want to play this season, and I swear I was writing down every single yeah. weekend. <laughs> so that's great. This is a great match right Ooh. now. Um, Trying to get a score oh, update game. here. Well, there we go. And it's score over. update. Look at that. Just score enough. update. <laughs> Red team one. Score, score update. update. Game over. over. Yeah. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Webby. I appreciate you oh. giving me the chance to promote Jolly Sports. And uh, like I said, anybody have any questions, let me know. Appreciate it. Yeah. Join the page also. And I look forward to seeing every guy, everybody and play some pickleball. Let's do it. Thanks, oh, yeah. I like Love it. Thank you. need to get your video on the East Coast also. I, I did it. I did the um, the yeah, South Florida Slam course. last December. Okay. Was that at yeah. your courts, right? Where, where yeah, yeah, ones, it was yeah? up in Titians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's another tournament there in December also. Is there? Okay. And, uh, but definitely. And also Del Rey. Del Rey yeah. has a big tournament that's coming up. Yeah. So definitely go out and sign up. I know quite a few people over there who's get, they've been working hard to put this tournament together. Yeah. And the whole committee over there in Del Rey, Del Rey Beach. So definitely look out for this tournament and go sign up. Sounds I good. love my East Coast pickleball people. They're so much fun to hang out with. So I highly recommend going over to see them. But West Coast, okay, we're great too, I promise. <laughs> I agree. Right. Okay, we got to go play. All so right, thanks, go play, guys. You. Thanks, yeah. Eddie. Yeah, my pleasure. <laughs> How cool is this, man? We've had some great matches, great even guests. Even better commentary. Even, yeah, even better commentary. <laughs> Uh, you can't beat that, and so I'm so I, I feel so uh, so lucky to be able to you know to be able to do this and uh, live stream some amazing matches here for you guys. I think we're gonna have one more match here coming up too. I'm very excited to be able to see what uh, what's gonna be going down here, and excited to see who's gonna be joining us back at the table, back at the commentary table. This is the Johnny Pickleball Show here in East Naples Community Park. And I gotta tell you, this, is, uh, this has been a lot of fun. Great talent so far, great matches, and great commentary. Honored to be part of this. I hope this isn't my last one too. I hope I, hope I get invited back to be able to come here and live stream again. Next time, we'll fix our internet issues a little bit ahead of time. And we should be, uh, we should be in a better place. I just want to do a very quick shout out to a couple organizations that are really here helping to support pickleball. Let's first start by talking about the Pickleball Academy of Southwest Florida. They have lessons, clinics, camps, and more. We have Pickleball for All, a nonprofit dedicated to bringing pickleball to students, veterans, and wheelchair athletes. 
We have the Pickleball Pro Shop of Collier County. All things pickleball. They have locations at East Naples and Veterans Park and Southern Tropic Tournaments. They have annual pickleball tournaments at East Naples Community Park. And I have played in quite a few of those tournaments. And I got to tell you guys, they are run like a well-oiled machine. There's a lot of courts here at East Naples Community Park, and it takes a lot of volunteers to be able to run these events, and they do a fantastic job with it. It's all run incredibly well. And here we go. The match is starting off. Courtney with a little serve into the net there. It's a shot that we've been seeing a lot more of lately. That nice little drop right into the kitchen. Anytime your opponents are back pretty far, it becomes a little complicated. Oh, that was a... One of only a few lobs we've seen tonight. Ooh. Just barely out there. Just barely out. Branch out a little bit wide there. Defense, working their way back up to the net here. Chris, you just couldn't get wide enough. It's like a Rubik's Cube trying to put your headphones on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I got cords and cables everywhere here. So we had, oh, my God. We, we had to throw, we had like a little break in the rain before we live stream. And so we yeah. we threw together equipment pretty quick here, but it worked you out. You did great, man. I don't know about that. You were in your element. Yeah, as soon as the hat went backwards, like you were in the zone. <laughs> it's, it was insane. Once the hat goes backwards. I, I I'm know. I'm full I, Eddie I at that it. point. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> this looks good. What a great turnout tonight again, man. This was fantastic. Uh, this is probably going to be the last game of the night. Yeah. Um, you know, I definitely want to thank the uh, Southwest Florida Pickleball Academy. Um you know, for kind of letting me just do my thing, you mm -hmm. know, and let me have the show here and um, kind of bring awareness to everything that's going on with Pickleball for All and, you know, the Academy and all the things that are happening. So really, really cool. Yeah, this has been a lot of fun, man. I mean, great matches, great commentary. Oh, yeah. I hope I, I, hope I get invited back uh, in the future to oh, live You come whenever again. you want, yeah. man. You come whenever you want. Make it a standing date. Want. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weather permitting. Weather, yeah, right. I know. This is our second attempt at it. I know. Finally I'm so wish. happy. I mean, it's such a beautiful night. Yeah. And I really wish, you know, eventually, I don't know, can we turn the camera somehow to show people that there are people actually playing, you know, just recreational play here? Um, I, I can don't know probably if we can do that. turn it, but you, no, you, don't you, worry about you, it. you know, you can kind you of see in the see top it. left corner there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's people playing out on these courts, yeah. and it's just really cool, um, you know, throughout the evening. I recognize all these people from uh, when I come up here on the weekends. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good drops. Here we go. Oh, good ATP. Brandon going to put... Oh, oh she wow. still got it. He still got Jeez. it. Oh, you're not getting that one. That's wow. Tough, it's good defense. The net. Yep. I don't understand why Played they couldn't get it. Played a huge factor tonight. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I think a lot of people... I think we had a lot of net cords tonight. Yeah, a ton. Um... This game would be a lot easier without the net, wouldn't it? I would say so. Yeah. I think it'd be interesting. I think Brandon would be called for in the kitchen all the time, but personally, but whatever. <laughs> Flying around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet his shoes last a long time, though, because they never touch the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same with your shoes. My shoes, man. Yeah, my shoes. I Air Johnny. My, I would love for my... Yeah, Air Johnny. I would love for my shoes to last a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, I toe drag, man. 3 4 2 is the score. Yep. Yeah. Pickleball for all. A little wide. 
So we're going to be starting some new programs in the academy too, which are going to be a lot of fun. Um, kind of like a, car well, you're going to have like a cardio pickleball, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh, good defense. Yep. Here we go. Hold on. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have like a cardio pickleball, but at the same time, there's a lot of people that aren't necessarily ready or wanting to go straight into just straight up cardio pickleball. You know what I mean? Like, right. hey, I want to start off slow. So there's going to be one that's going to be like a prerequisite. You know what I mean? If you want, you know, that's going to be called uh, pickleball for the health of it. Okay. Uh, which I'm creating right I now. I like it. So it's going to be called Pickleball for the Health of It. Did you just come up with that? Uh, about a couple days ago. Oh, okay. And, I, <laughs> and I, no, about a week ago at McAllister's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> McAllister's Deli brought to you. You know, but, um, but yeah, no, it's you know, something simple to where you just kind of go through the motions and get your body ready for cardio, you know, and just kind of have some awareness on healthy tips and tricks. Um, yeah, Pickleball for the Health of It, man. I like it. Yeah. You know what I noticed just by playing Pickleball? What's that? Uh, my cardio vascular has improved yeah. significantly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, I can imagine. And so the other day I played pickleball for like two, two hours and then I played tennis. I had a, a tennis lesson, you know, a doubles lesson and it, tennis feel, felt so easy. Really? <laughs> okay. I was like, ooh, my heart rate was probably in the 90s. Now that's interesting because people would say it, it's the opposite. You, you know, know what I mean? They would think that it's the opposite. Right. You yeah. know why? Because um, the serve slows yeah. everything down. And tennis, yeah. in, in pickleball, you, you don't really stop. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. That's a, good, that's a great point. Start, yeah. stop, start, stop. Yep. And, uh, and we hear your squeaking of the feet when you're coming yeah. up <laughs> anyway, man. That's great. <laughs> Look like one of those football players that like, you know, start there with the fast feet. Right, yeah. You know? <laughs> Shout out to the NFL starting week one. Coming yes. Up. <laughs> it's coming, man. Preseason. That's right. This is, yeah, I, I always get excited when yeah, August 1st Yeah, look at Brandon. Starts. Brandon's ready. August 1st, I'm always like, no more months without football uh, in it this year. I know. I've had my fill of cornhole. We're good. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> ready for some football. What's you your team? What's your yeah. team, Eddie? Well, so I'm, I'm much more of a college guy yeah. than a pro You're guy. Michigan Wolverines or I, Michigan State Spartans? I'm, Spartan? I'm a Michigan State Spartan. Okay. Um, my, my wife, uh, she's a Wolverine. She actually went to U of M Dearborn for undergrad, so we, oh. uh, we're a house divided, but... Uh, I I do root for Michigan. She also roots for Michigan State, just not when oh, they play against oh, each oh, other. Oh, oh. So yeah. What about you guys? I went to University of Colorado. Okay. Go Buffalo. Go Buffalo. Yeah. And um, of course Denver Broncos. Oh nice. Yeah. I grew Very I grew nice. up there. I spent my college years there. Cool. Still yeah. love them. And then I lived in Jacksonville for a while. So go Jaguars. Go Jags. Yeah. Go Jags. Nice. I like that. That's cool, man. <laughs> what There's about up you? Comers. Um. For college, man, I still, you know, I went to Florida Gulf Coast University, mm -hmm. so, like, we're still undefeated, obviously, because uh, we don't have a football team. Right, right? yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, but, yeah, I've always been a fan of the Florida Gators. Okay. You know, I have. I've whoa, been a, whoa, whoa, a Florida Gators. I, I like Florida Gators. You know, I'm a big yeah. fan of Florida Gators. Um, and then I like, for the NFL, I kind of split. I like uh, two teams in that, and that's going to be uh, the Miami Dolphins okay. and uh, the Indianapolis Colts. All right. I've always been kind of a fan of. Cool. So, um, those are, those are kind of my teams. But for basketball, again, like I told you right. earlier, I'm a college basketball guy as well as an NBA guy. So, the Indiana Pacers have always been, that's been my team. That's and actually, team? on my Johnny Pickleball logo, man, if you actually look, the P on Pickleball oh. is kind of like an old school retro Pacers P. Okay. Yeah, to an extent. All right. <laughs> I'm going to start I getting like that. emails and like, you know, phone calls on yeah. like trademarks and all this other right stuff. Right up going. here, guys. Right, right where that is. Yeah. Yes, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Old school style, man. Yeah. I like all the vintage stuff. So. Yeah. That's good. But again, Eddie, I want to thank you personally, man, again, for being here. This was our last game of the night. Okay. Um, I'm You're sure we're going to hang out and play with some of these people out here uh, before we all go to Celebration car, uh, Park and get some lobster rolls. Yeah. That's right. Oh, That's right. From, uh, from, uh, Dilly <laughs> Seafood. Yo, dude. It's oh, their so lobster good. lobster rolls are mm. I'm allergic to lobster. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brandon said he's allergic to lobster, but, you know, he said he's given, w willing to give it a go. All right. <laughs> so. Gotta love Celebration Park. It's cool, man. I just, yeah. well, I got an EpiPen. You'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got a bunch of Benadryl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's good. It's a good chaser. That's fine. <laughs> you know, nothing like lobster and EpiPens. Yeah. <laughs> this has been great, man. What an incredible night. Oh, yeah. Beautiful evening. Yeah. I mean, you know, usually we're not used to the sun driving through here, so. Uh, it's usually uh, clouds and and um, that wet, humid feel. Right. You know, so still humid, but yeah. Um, no, this is, this has been amazing, man. And um, you know, again, thanks for the podcast. It's really cool. My pleasure. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you, guys. So nice to see you here. Yeah. Come back. I will yeah. be back. next week, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. 
I'll be back here every single Friday. For Sweet. Every single Friday. Sweet. Yeah. Stressfully setting up. Yeah. <laughs> Frantically <laughs> trying to get stuff Frantically ready. Frantically getting everything ready. Oh, man. No. Brandon uh, from Selkirk Sport, thank you uh, for him to come out. You know, Stefan Jolicoeur from the East Coast and Engage Pickleball, Jolie Sports. Yeah. Thank you, sir, for coming out. Uh, Dominique Levin, team head. You know, it is what it is. Uh, Thanks, Courtney. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. And then uh, Courtney, obviously part of the academy. Courtney Miles with uh, Paddle Tech and Christy Bradley, senior pro for Paddle Tech. Yeah. So, um, you know, all these people are, are awesome people. Yeah. And, uh, you know, as are many, 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 many other people in this sport, which is what makes it amazing. So, and uh, I'm just glad everyone could kind of showcase their skills. That's what it's all about. So have some fun, put on a show, laugh with the crowd, laugh at you. It's yeah. all good. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's all good. That's the way to do it. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you for letting me be part of this. I do appreciate it. Do you do you close it out or are you just kind of... Oh, we'll just continue. Over? Yeah, you games are playing? done. We'll close it out a little bit. Most people kind of start going over to start playing okay. outside of the tented area. And right. then uh, that's kind of what we'll do. We'll start kind of bringing some people over and just kind of close shop. Cool. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's going to be it for the stream, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, I know that we had some issues with the internet connection, so it might have been a little bit choppy. But I promise you, we recorded all this. We're going to be re-releasing it in the future, so that way you guys can watch it. Uh, and apparently you need to go over to Taylor Nissa's dad's place to be able to watch it because uh, apparently he's got a nice TV setup. So, <laughs> so that, that's where the watch party is going to be at for this edition of the Johnny Pickleball Show. Nice. Thank you guys so much. Again, this is Eddie from Eddie and Webby. Super happy to be part of this. Earlier we did a live podcast with the one and only Johnny Pickleball. So you guys should check that out as well. Yep. And we're going to be having a ton more content coming up for you guys here in the near future. So thank you for letting me be a part of this, Johnny. Absolutely, man. Thank, thank you. you, Eddie. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Great commentary today, guys. That's it. We will talk to you soon. See ya. Peace.